What's up, guys? We're here with the first place winner of the Santa Clara Regionals uh, for One Piece CCG. Uh, for One Piece CCG. Uh, here we have the playmat uh, that he won with. Uh, so really pretty. As you can see, we have uh, Rebecca here. Uh, we have Sarah Hoshi and Vivi here. So really nice uh, cards. Uh, do you have your prize cards with you? Um, I do, but they're not on me right now. Okay, we'll, we'll see you later then. Yeah. Okay, let's go into the... Uh, what was your, what's your name, by the way? My name is Kyle Vo, and I got first playing Gekka Moria. Where are you from? I'm from SoCal. Uh, play at Project CCG. Okay, representing a Project CCG uh, here in the flesh. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. First off, we got Brandon. Uh, I play him at 3. I know like a lot of people like to play him at 4, but I don't really find that many opportunities to play him. He is important in the deck because you need to find things like Ice Age. But uh, besides on 2 Dawn and 5 Dawn, I don't really have an opportunity to play him. And uh, next up, we got a 2k counter, the best 2k counter that comes with brand new, Suru. It's like another copy of Great Eruption, except it doesn't replace itself, but it is a great 2k counter. Next up, we got Helmepo. I run it at 3 because I really need to see it to play off of my 8-drop Moria. Uh, because the leader can't minus 1 on swing like Sakajiki, I really need that extra 1 that comes out of uh, Helmepo as compared to playing uh, Tsuru off of Gekka Moria. Next up, we got 2 Kuzan. Uh, I really like Kuzan at 2. He is important in the deck to play off of Moria and to play on 4. But he really never sticks, but it just applies a lot of pressure to the opponent just to have a Kuzan down on the board. And when he does stick, he does kind of win you the game. Next up, we got Great Eruption at 4. Uh, I really love these minus events, especially Great Eruption. It's getting banned in the future for a reason. It's a great value card for Black. Uh, without minus cards, I don't think... Uh, I don't really think you can play the game. Gekka Moria really needs these events. So that's why I'm running Great Eruption at 4. And I'm also rolling Ice Age up. Running Ice Age up. Next up, one of the best cards in the game, Gekka Moria. The Gekka Moria star really carries the deck. It, it basically wins you most matchups. And Gekka Moria is really one of the strongest leaders because he's the only one that can quote unquote search Gekka Moria by adding it back from his trash. What the, uh, what's that card called? Yep, right here, Dr. Guy, Hogback. Dr. Hogback. Yep, so this is one of the best uh, cards. I run all of the Dola Bark Pirates at 4. I think it's too important to not have because uh, a lot of games I'm not able to play through my leader effect and at that point I'm losing way too much value. So I like to keep it consistent with 4 Hogback. Next up, we got Absalon, the popper of the deck. Uh, running him at 4 is really necessary because him and Luchi, I need to see those every game, especially if they get bottom deck, I need to see multiple because I need to play it just for my leader and I also need to play it off of Gekka Moria. Speaking of poppers, we got Rob Luchi. Rob Luchi, I like to keep at 4, although he has no counter and I don't really play him down for my hand at times, I need to see him in the trash every single game off of the Gekka Morias and it really carries him. Next up, we got Sabo at 3. Sabo is amazing. I recently bumped it up. Yeah. I, I, I used to have 3 Kuzans, but I took one out for Sabo because uh, the yellow matchup is really annoying. I don't want to lose. And it's, you can set up sort of checkmate against certain matchups by playing down a Sabo because it's not interactable with things like Amaru. And it just gives your whole field protection. So it's really great. It makes me feel really secure. And then it closes out games really cleanly. You're saying Sabo can protect against Amaru? Yeah, or he just can't interact with Amaru. Oh, I see. Or like, you know, Amaru can't interact with him. So whenever you play Sabo down, yeah. he is a blocker that will block an attack versus yellow no matter what. No matter what, yeah. Yep. Okay, makes sense. Next up, we got three Borsalino. Uh, Borsalino is really great versus the mirror because black can bottom neck. He really is only bad versus Sakazuki. But other than that, this uh, is one of the best cards to play. If I have four extra Dawn, I don't want to play almost any other card besides Kuzan or Borsalino. Okay, so we got Prona. This is the best early game you can use with your leader, mainly because there's one of the Thriller Bark Pirates that doesn't put any cards back in your deck. So you can use the leader ability, mill two, and you'll have trash to work with as you get value from the Prona. Yeah, that makes sense. And next up, we got Sindri. Got four 2Ks here. Uh, it's just a great Thriller Bark 2K that you can add back with Hogback. And it really kind of fixes your hand by milling five and giving you options to work with. Uh, having 12 2Ks, I think is really important. Uh, 5 health leader with 12 2Ks, yeah. they're no, one of the 
biggest weaknesses of Sakazuki is that he's a 4-up leader and he only has 8 2k so it's very exploitable. So uh, in order to not get cheesed out by games, I like to have 12 2 Ks. Yeah, you'll have a better matchup against aggro, especially uh, Yamato yeah. and uh, Zoro. Yeah, I'm not scared of red at all. Yeah. What were your matchups throughout the whole day? So uh, I actually have them right here. Uh, there was a lot of Gecko and Top Cut, but I didn't play them much in the beginning. So first round, I ran to Prona. Prona is known to be one of Gecko's hardest matchups, but it's uh, it, it isn't that bad as long as you see your Gecko's. So I played Prona first round, and then I played Katakuri second round. Katakuri, this is one of the few decks favorite in Katakuri, but uh, they still can sack you because yellow is just yellow. Next, I played Gecko, the mirror. Uh, I feel really confident in the mirror. I play a lot of it. I feel really confident in all the meta matchups. And then next up is Raju. Mm -hmm. uh, that one can be tricky, but you really want to see Ice Agers and Geckos, and those really close it out for you. Before you continue, what is your approach to uh, playing the mirror match? Yeah, the mirror match, uh, basically, uh, it's really core one piece where you're just playing for uh, resource management. You're not trying to give them cards from their life, because especially since they're a 5 health leader, there's a lot of resources to be had when you swing life. You really only want to swing life when you establish board and you have board control over your opponent. So I'm just swinging like the base numbers five to make them counter because I want them to lose cards and I'm always swinging at board whenever possible. I see. And you want to keep your um, Gekko Moria in your opening hand and Yeah, you really cards. want to see the Gekko Morias. Like, every black matchup, you need. it's kind of about who plays more Gekko Morias. So you definitely uh, want to dig for them as much as possible. I see, I see, I see. Okay, cool. Yep. And then uh, next round, in the fifth round, we got Kata. And then I played another Kata. Uh, Everywhere. A, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the matchup. Like, sometimes it gets scary, but I'm happy to see them whenever I okay. Next up, Enel. I thought that was kind of crazy. Uh, I was in top eight, and one of the eight undefeated was Enel. And he's probably the only Enel at the top tables. And uh, I kind of thought that it wasn't the best deck, but uh, when I played against it, it was pretty scary. So it was, yeah. I might have to test against it a bit more. And then the last two rounds, I played the Gecko Mirror. Yeah. Okay, so since you're comfortable playing the Gecko Mirror, yeah, it seems on. like uh, going uh, forward with the OPO uh, 6 meta, yep. uh, you'll be uh, able to dominate those uh, those things. Yep. Uh, Happy to see Gecko. What is the next event you're going to be attending? We're going to expect to see you at. Yep, the next event I'm going to be is in Florida. Florida. So, All right. I'll be out there as well. Yep. So hopefully I'll be able to get another deck profile with you as well. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kyle. I'll see you next time. See ya.